All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shane. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the evolution of my YouTube channel, where I'm headed. And if you're interested in this type of subject, this type of discussion, then feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So a couple of years ago, my wife gave me this book, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Now, I wasn't a big fan of this guy. I'll be honest. At the beginning, I wasn't a big fan. So I only read a chapter, put it aside because he was way over my head. This was a few years ago. Then when the pandemic hit, I thought, man, I got to do something different. I need to change. I got to do something. I got to create my own path, my own destiny. So I began taking sales courses online, sales mentor specifically. Got certified as an inbound closer. The interesting thing about becoming an inbound closer is you need a job in order to sell your products or services. You need something that you can sell. I didn't have anything. I just had a job, but I continued to buy courses. And then eventually it got to a point where I had an internship with sales sniper with Matt Ryder, James Sackle, Marco Cortese, and of course, my mentor, Jeremy Miner. So I was actually able to come under their umbrella for, I believe it was 12 weeks as an intern in Sales Sniper. That was a fa fascinating time. I also had a full-time job as I was interning. So imagine doing that as well. Plus reading, doing all these online courses, all this kind of stuff. Then about a week ago, I came across the concept of change management. And I was like, oh, my Lord, this is now putting everything together that I've been reading, all the sales training that I've been taking over the past couple of years. And now I finally have a chance to be able to put this all to work, including cold calls, reaching out to businesses, all this kind of stuff for the purpose of being a change manager and helping businesses transfer from their present state to their future state. It's very interesting because if you are an inbound closer, let's just say, and you're on the phone with a prospect, in order for you to be good on the phone, you have to be able to create a gap of where they're at right now and where they need to be. And you have to create awareness because if they don't know that they need to change, they're not going to change. And by the end of the conversation, you're going to have people saying things like your price is too high. I need to talk to my spouse. I need to talk to my significant other. I need to talk to my boss, whatever it is, or I just need to think about it. You're going to get those objections. So the whole idea of, sales sniper and seventh level and everything like that is to be able to pre-handle objections before they come up. That's the beauty of having a system. So after going through all that stuff, then I'm like, well, I also like the idea of dealing with managers and helping businesses transition. Let's just say there was a new piece of technology that came in or somebody just bought out bought a new company, bought out a company. What happens to those people? How do they transition to a new job? I've had that happen when I used to sell coffee. Uh, the company is called Van Hoot Coffee Services because you know coffee is for closers and that's what I did for a few years. Then they got bought out by Green Mountain and there was a transition by the ownership from Green Mountain Coffee Services, coffee roasters out of the States. We had to transition. So it was fascinating. So they had people that were change management experts that would help Van Hoot Coffee Services uh, transition to the future state, which is becoming part of Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. So that was fascinating. I had no idea that that industry existed. I just participated in it. So it's just, it's neat how this world works. So then... Now I grabbed this book from my wife's office and I took it back. So I'm going to read it this weekend. We'll be studying it. 
So I'm going to share with you an acronym that I learned from change management, and it's changed my life. It's changed my world. So hopefully you'll get something out of this video, and hopefully this will make sense. Because really, at the end of the day, if you're not trying, you're dying. And that's what I've been doing in the past couple of years is trying everything under the sun, just not really understanding why I'm trying everything under the sun. So here's the acronym. It's called ADCAR. If you're involved in change management, you know what this acronym means. But for me, it was revolutionary. The first one, the first letter is awareness. And that's what began my journey into taking online sales courses was I knew that I needed to change. I just didn't know what exactly. I saw ads on YouTube and I'm like, I need to change. So my awareness level went from one, which is, this is how you rate your awareness from one to five. My awareness went up to a five. I knew I had to change. I just didn't know how at the beginning. The next thing was I had to have a desire to change. And this is what happens in the workplace. You have to have a desire to want to change. So my desire was a five because I was buying courses based on the understanding that I had at the time. The third letter, which is knowledge, was weak. I had sales experience, but I never had a system. I never had a mentor. So my knowledge base was about a two, even after all the sales training was about a two. And then the next thing, the next acronym is my ability. Do I have the ability to apply what I knew into something tangible, like a job, a career, starting my own business, all this kind of stuff? Well, my ability was about a two as well, because I had a full-time job. So my job right now is to increase my ability to a five because I'm still working, but I can learn while I'm at work through podcasts, through online courses, through listening to audiobooks, all this kind of stuff, all centered around the subject. So my ability will increase. The last thing is, do I have the ability to reinforce everything that I've learned? Because that's important. And I would say right now, it's a five because I could read books over and over again. But my knowledge is the weak link right now. And this will help you. Let's just say you're in a business right now and you're like, man, I want to transition. Maybe I want to work for sales sniper. Let's just pick on them for a second. If you want to work for sales sniper, there's a couple of things that you need to do that revolve around this idea of ac ad car ad car hear me out here because i know because i used to be with sales sniper so how would this relate in any industry well you have to be aware of the company so i'm mentioning sales snipers so now that you're aware of it you have to rate yourself on your awareness like if you want to be a salesperson, what do you need to do to change into the best salesperson that you can possibly be? Well, you join a company like Sales Sniper. So now that you're aware, you can you could basically say your awareness is five, you know. And now you have to have a desire. So what is part of that desire? The desire is to join their closers code, closers code. Or buy some of their, um, I think it's Sales Revolution. You go join up with their Facebook group and you participate and you increase your desire as you go and you get it up to a point where it's a five. If it's a one right now, it doesn't matter what else you learn. If you have knowledge, if you have the ability and you can reinforce it, if you don't have any desire, it won't help you. So you need to increase your desire first. After you're aware, your desire will match what you do externally, which is you're going to invest in yourself. If you can invest in yourself, to me, that tells, that tells me that you don't have any desire. Desire begins by investing. And once you invest and you increase that to a five, now you can 
gain knowledge because now you're investing in yourself. Once you get to a three or higher, you're now competent in that knowledge. So this could take six months, it could take a year, it could take two years, whatever. Once you're a five, you are a superstar, you're a rock star, you're like Marco Cortese. Next thing is your ability. Do you have the ability to put all the stuff into practice? Maybe it's an internship. Maybe it's getting a certification. Maybe it's doing a practicum, whatever it is. Practicing cold calling on the phone, all this kind of stuff. And do you have the, um, the ability to be able to reinforce this? So if you're in your job, once you, let's say your, your work, wherever you are working, they allow you to take an online course can you reinforce that? Can you go over those skills or is it something where you're just going to lose those skills? So you have to be able to use reinforcement techniques to be able to keep those skills that you've learned. So if you use this acronym ADCAR for anything, you can see where your weakness is. Like I said, right now, my weakness when it comes to change management as I'd say it's about a two, it's a one or a two. So now my focus is on this, getting this up to a three, a four, or a five. Because I can reinforce it. I have the ability to do all that stuff. I have the awareness. I have the desire. I just need the knowledge. I've got to build the knowledge up. And once you do that, now you can start applying yourself, applying for jobs online, networking, all kinds of stuff, because your knowledge is there. You kind of need all five of these working in order for you to get to your future state. Because again, you might be here, but you need to get to here. So how do you do that? Well, you use ADCAR, you use the acronym. There's another one called DICE which is duration, integrity, competency, I believe, and effort, commitment and effort. So if you have those, you can analyze where you're at if you're building a team, if you're building a management team to help the company change, you use the DICE model to pick out these managers. In order to have a, a successful team, your managers need to know how long is this new project that we are partaking of, how long is it going to take? six months, a year, two years, they need to know that. They need to pick the, the managers that have the most integrity and the, the managers that have the most commitment. So if you have 10 managers and you tell them the duration is here, five of them leave because it's too long for them. Maybe they don't have six months to do all this, to invest in it. Then you have five left. And then out of those five, which ones have the most integrity? Well, all three of them. Okay, you have three managers left. How committed are they? Well, all three are committed. Then you might tell them, you might say, well, this is going to require maybe 10 to 20% extra effort over time, a little bit, all this kind of stuff. Suddenly, you might only have one or two managers. Those are your guys that you want to build a team around. You want to start building around these managers because they're all in. They're committed. They understand how long the project's going to take. They have the highest integrity and they don't mind putting in a little bit of extra effort. And that could be for your employees. If you want to get them to volunteer and say, hey, we got to make some changes around our company. We're having a Zoom meeting on Saturday and whoever shows up, those are part of your new team. You tell them you're not going to get any extra pay no compensation. It's going to be hard, but this is what it's going to take. And this is how long. And on the other side of it, um, there's benefits as well. Some of them monetarily, some of them not. Are you in? And the ones that show up, those are the people that you build your team around because you know they're in it for the right reasons. I know it's a long video. I can go on and on, but hopefully you get out of this that it's an evolution your YouTube channel is an evolution. It just doesn't happen overnight. Some people can do it and understand what their content is all about overnight. For me, it took me over a year to figure this out. And now I have a purpose. Now I have a direction. So hopefully that helps you. 
I'll also put my contact information in the description. If you uh, need my help with anything, if there's something I'm missing, feel free to comment as well. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching this video for this cotton pick along, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really helps the YouTube gods, the YouTube algorithm. It helps me build my channel. I want to get to a thousand subs. My, my goal is to share with you as much information as I can when it comes to uh, change management, tips, strategies, all that kind of stuff for free, obviously, here on YouTube. And in turn, I hope that you'll subscribe and interact with me in the comments. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.